It's, it's Vlogmas. Hey. Day hey, 19. What? It's Vlogmas. Day 19. It's Vlogmas. Day 19. In the world. Ow! Hey, I, hey, I just want to see where you go with it. <laughs> NT Ways is Vlogmas Day 19. Time has been moving. Hope you guys have been enjoying it. What is that, Drake? Uh, hope y'all enjoying it as much as we enjoyed. Uh, uh, hope you enjoyed it. Have as much as we enjoyed creating it. Because we had a ball. All oh, this other book. Okay, anyway, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so today we are actually running some errands. We have a Christmas photo shoot tomorrow. She want me in a suit. Yeah. He needs to be in a suit for this look because the look is going to give. So this past weekend, we had already grabbed you some pants and a white button up, but now yeah. he just Surprise needs a black Surprise, I didn't jacket. have a black suit in my bag. Yeah, I thought he did. Oh, you know what, what it was? A rented suit? No, no, no. It wasn't a rented suit. I actually gave my suit to my brother. Uh-huh. Um, I forget for what. Chris, event. um, that was for Chrissy and Alex's wedding. Yup. I remember y'all accidentally got the wrong jacket, but I thought those were rented and you had to return it anyway. Nope, that was my jacket. Oh my gosh. All right, anyway. Yep. Well, that's the situation at hand. Now, I did think that you were talking about wearing your white jacket. Yeah, that was definitely a thing. It could be the white jacket. If, if all else comes down to it, okay. yeah, definitely put but on the white But it's still cool for you to just have a black one. Yeah. I wonder should we have brought your black pants because you know not all blacks are created the same. All blacks aren't created equal? <laughs> I was talking come about the color now. pants. Come on now. <laughs> all right, let's get it. Vlogmas day 19, commencing in three, two, one. One and a half. One. Anybody else park on the top floor of a garage? It's a whole weekday, and yet this place was packed. So we were like, we're just gonna drive to the top for the nostalgic vibes. Yeah, but it's a week before Christmas, so people out here last minute doing. You said everything. what now? It's it's a week before Christmas. Oh, it's a week before Christmas. So everybody outside. Everybody and their brother doing that last minute shopping. So this is Block 37. If anybody doesn't know about this mall, it's actually in the heart of downtown. Really cool mall. It's got a lot of cool stuff in it. Stay so Stay Street and Randolph. You'll find it. They have the AMC theater there. Oh, the AMC theater. Oh, it's nice Dine and decorated in. too. Oh, yeah. It's hella decorated. This is cool. Oh, and there's a cool theater there too. And there. And there. A lot of theaters. This is a spot. If you're coming downtown, this is where you want to be. All right, y'all. So I'm currently at Zara and I actually just went out and was shopping. I threw this fit together real quick. These shoes from Zara, these pants from Zara, and this top is from Zara. I like it. To be honest, I'm actually. I really like these oversized cargos. And let me know down in the comment section what y'all think. But I'm rocking with this. It's a vibe from the shoes all the way up. And like these shoes, that's usually where I get my shoes from because they're actually like cheaper than regular shoes, but they actually have really good style to them. They're not Nikes, obviously, but I'm not really big on name brand or anything like that. But yeah, I like this too. Extended realms. I don't know why, it just speaks to me. I'm really messing with these pants though. These large cargos, yeah. Those are wrong. The only real crazy thing about this is these dang near hundred dollar jeans. The cost of living is going too crazy. The cost of fashion should not be this much, y'all. It like really fashion shouldn't be this expensive, but it's the world we live in. I showed y'all my one outfit. This girl has I got some things I wanna try on. Some things. One, two, three. I think. Four, Don't do all that. I need to figure five, out what pan size looks better six, on me. Seven, eight, Stop. nine, ten, eleven, Stop. twelve, thirteen. Four, you grab 14 items? I'm not getting all of them. I just want to try some on. They're real cozy. Y'all want to see? Y'all want to see? I know you oh do. I got gosh. you. All right, you guys, first item I decided to try on are these pants. They're kind of like bell bottom pleated navy blue with a little bit of ruffle on the edge. And I actually like the way they flow. I was trying to debate between a large and a medium. I got a large on and they actually fit really cool. I like the length because you know your girl is 5'9", so finding pants that actually fit well on me is not always the most easiest task. But I think this is cute. It's different. It's casual. But it also could be dressed up depending on the top and stuff. But it's like a vibe. They got some move and groove to them. Mm -hmm. Hubby has now joined me. I just tried on another pair of pants. These are some like chocolate, almost suede corduroy vibe pants. Hubby got on these super dope cargo pants. They're really just different. Like the I feel like the detail. Oh, you showed them? Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. Oh, I always like these type of jackets on you. They kind of square you out real nice up top. Nice material and vibe. Yeah, it's, okay. It's a okay. Let's I see. can dress now. You can dress. I can dress. You really can. Oh, and then the boots with it? Oh. I like that. I like that. These are the pants on me. They actually fit perfectly. I wouldn't want them any shorter. It is a low rise look and they fit. I'm just thinking once I grow my booty more, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit in these. Oh, $109? Bye bye. Boots did not go as hard as what I wanted them to, but top and the cargoes, don't mind the Crocs. Those are not a part of this fit. Mm -hmm. Uh, but yeah, top and cargoes definitely are goers. I probably wear black shoes. I got like some uh, Doc Martens from back my Papado days. Clean those bad boys off and just go with a black on black in the bottom and then keep the top simple. Honestly, the top that I had on from Uniqlo is actually a nice colorway to add to this. What? Oh, this burgundy? burgundy? Yeah. Yeah. I like that actually. Okay. These okay. colors definitely work together. And this is my second fit. What do you think? I kind of like this. Uh, I like the casual coffee. Too. Yeah. Top. And the jeans go with it. It's cozy. Cozy casual. Love that. Next up is this top for me. I'm really into like vest well. style tops. What I like about this one it is a zip situation going on. I don't have to button it. And it's a little bit different. I would not pair it with these jeans. Okay. I'm watching the integrity. Well, you see my face? I'm like, Grace. Hubby does the integrity check. Mm -hmm. Integrity check. <laughs> Got here. I know. It, it came the bathroom now. Mm -hmm. Okay, hey. Hey. <laughs> Next up is this grown and sophisticated sweater that I'm really liking. I think it got hubby approved as well. Yeah, it's definitely fashionable. Yeah, you like? I'd be interested to see what you pair. I actually want to pair it with like a black pleated skirt. I think that'd be so cute with some tights and maybe some like knee high black boots or something. I could also wear just pants with it too, but I wouldn't wear these with it. But I feel like this is very versatile. And it's like a really thick material too, which I like a lot. Very comfortable. And it's like a stretchy thick like wool. This is a, a gonna be a timeless piece for sure. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I like it. Next up, little black dress. She is little. The hubby just popped in for a second. He said he likes her a lot, which I do too. She's cute. I like this area too, because your girl's a part of the itty bitty committee. However, they got them sitting real firm and got the curvature going on. And she's like a thick material too. I don't know how to explain. It has slight stretch to it. She's definitely a maybe. I feel like even putting like a white button down long sleeve top underneath it. So it kind of almost gives like I don't know if that would be considered schoolgirl vibes, but you know, something cute, preppy, some black sheer tights with it. Definitely could bring this to life and then use it in the winter time as well as like the summer spring. Next up, I got this sweater gray knit mini dress in a medium. She fits real cute and I got a lot of like stretching room with it too. I almost got a small, but the hubby just said that he thinks the medium gives me some space to work with. I want to pair it with this sweater, actually. It looks so cozy as soon as I laid my eyes on it. I don't even know if I'll wear it together or not. But I love the design and the material of this. I almost feel like the sleeves are like playing. It's like, are you gonna be long or are you gonna be short? I don't know if I'll even pair this together, but this is how it's looking. Oh, you just had on your jacket. Is this the one you're gonna get for the photo shoot? It's nice. It does fit it's nice. Well. But yeah, this is how the sweater is looking. I almost think it paired better with the black. The black dress? Yeah. I know. I love you want to try it back on now with it. Yeah. I think you're right too. Black will be better. Yeah, I don't know. It's not, it feels like it's competing in some kind of way. Yeah. But, but the sweater itself is like super cozy. Yeah, it looks like it's super cozy. Yeah, it looks yeah. super cozy. Last two pieces I had to try on these bedazzled black like wash jeans and then this cropped sweater long sleeve sweater hooded I'm a fan of the hoodie. yeah I'm a fan, I am so. too exactly I was telling him like the pants weren't really made for us like, as soon as it got to my thighs it <laughs> and like my thighs need she built different she I'm built different. different and then the booty where the booty at where to go and it still don't even 
hug my waist. It's just, yeah, they're just flat. So we're finished with our final selections at Zara. They actually have something new going on. They have like a self checkout now. And when you put your items in that bin, it's popping up on the screen. You don't even have to type in what it is that you got, which is wild actually. Now that we've gotten our shopping out the way, it's time for gifts. All right, so you already know we get the two classics, but when we're feeling a little extra, we get the little Italy as well, yeah. which is sort of like a pizza style grilled cheese. Yeah, look at that cheese. Look at the cheese on there. It's fresh. Yeah. That's it right there. Look how happy she is. I don't even eat grilled cheese, but this is what I eat right here. This is it. Cheers, Miss Wu. Cheers, Miss Wu. So check this out. I've been looking for jeans. I don't have a single regular, regular pair of jeans. I've been looking all up and down this strip of stores on State Street, and I finally found some. I need to put this on video, dang near, so I can remember for myself. But this is a 32, 34 stretch regular. I don't like skinny jeans. It's like make you look like they're all tight on you. I like some room in the thighs. It say room in the thighs. Cool. It's got a little extra length. Usually I get like a 32, 32, but the 34 gives it a little bit of cuppage at the bottom. So that way like it can crinkle at the bottom. I like that. I don't want to be flooding too hard. You know what I'm saying? And they stretch. I can kick a nigga in the face. I can. Hey y'all. Are you serious? I showed him I could kick. Uh, yeah. He won't pick any pants. If I can't kick in those pants, I will not wear them. That's why you just looked at me like that. Yeah. Five minutes ago, he tried on another, I tried pair, on another of pair of jeans. jeans. It was annoyed. He couldn't I get couldn't his leg get up. that knee up. And I said, babe, nope. not all of them are going to be able to do that. No, nah, they he all. Done found all some. my pants got to be kickable. Now, me on the other hand, I did learn a hack some years ago that Levi jeans are like really good for unisex. They post it a lot for men, but they can look real good on us women too. I haven't found my winner yet. But I, I may have found something. These are regular stretch. And I like that yours are a 34. We're a yeah. tall couple. We are a tall couple. So even these 32s, like, they don't have the crunch at yeah. the bottom like I'd to like. To give you context, she's 5'9". Yeah. I'm 6'2". Yeah. So, like, we're really out here struggling. Yeah, we are. And our kids are going to struggle, too. <laughs> <laughs> we so found we actually, some winners. She got the same thing. 32, 34. It's funny because, like, we I'm were... definitely taller than you. Yeah. I think I'm like all torso, y'all. Yeah, you definitely have a way bigger torso than me. Yeah. But the legs, we got some long legs. I love the crunch. I love the fit. My thighs feel breathable. Oh, they do have stretch. They stretch. You can kick. You need kickability. You right. You need kickability. You right. We found them. Yay. I would definitely say we're set. Wouldn't you? Damage. D huh? Damage. Damage? Damage. What are you talking about? Bank account damage. Shut up, Josh. You got you three nice pair of new Levi jeans. And you know what's crazy? Those jeans will last me years. Yeah, they Put will. Put me in my eyes, years. <laughs> Levi are always really good quality jeans. They're long term. That's why they've been in business so long. Yeah, honestly, that's what I go for. When I'm talking about my fashion, I don't care what's Trending, fashionable yeah. or trendy. I want my stuff to last me five to ten years Period. and even then I'm still looking at it like I could wear that today <laughs> and it has to be able to kick he has and to be able I to kick his leg up if I can't <laughs> kick it's not happening it's not happening everybody can get kicked stop it <laughs> all right y'all I thought I was gonna take a nap too much is on my mind especially in terms of this photo shoot tomorrow so I actually have one of the dresses that I picked up to try on. I haven't got to try it on yet. And at this point, the shoot is in less than 24 hours. So I pray that it fits, but I need to try it on. Oh, wow, I've actually been trying on clothes all day now that I realize that we were just in the fitting rooms and now I'm back home. All right, anyway, let's get in. All right, you guys, first dress. And honestly, I don't even think I need to try on the other ones because this is just giving Christmas vibes. I think I'm gonna pair it with these earrings. And right now I'm trying to debate on the shoes. I can go white or I can go red. Which one do y'all think? Red or white? I feel like the other dresses that I had were backups if this didn't work, but this one definitely works. I wish the hip area was a little bit different, like 
this I wish was cinched in a little bit more, but I'm gonna make it work. Now, although I already clarified to you guys what I was choosing, I figured I might as well still show you the other options that I had. This being another one, but I'm gonna save her for another time. She's definitely cute. I don't think it's giving Christmas, but a nice little like brunch outing or speaking engagement that I might have next year. Yeah, I definitely think she would eat. So this was option two. Option three. Now, the cool thing about this dress is I can like button it and unbutton it wherever I want. I feel like we give super like bougie upper echelon vibes for our Christmas pictures. And although it is bougie, don't get me wrong, you got the little bedazzled buttons on the sleeves and down the middle of the dress. And again, like I can unbutton it all the way and it'd be a slit moment. I just don't. I guess I don't associate, maybe it's the collar that's throwing me off, but I feel like this would be really cute just for like Christmas maybe, or I don't know, something a little less formal, but it definitely is one of my favorite dresses as well. But this was a, like a backup option if all else failed, but I'm glad all else did not fail. Fourth and final option that I was thinking about, and this was like worst case, worst case scenario. Honestly, this is a reversible dress. It's super unique. It's from a black owned brand, um, same as the previous dress, Fumi the label. And I can reverse either the skirt to be like white or not the skirt, but the bottom part of the dress to be white or the top part to be white and this be black or all black or all white. I love its versatility and I think that's super cool, but I also, this isn't really giving like Christmas photos either. I'm glad that the dress that I chose for it is gonna work out perfectly, but I did have some options. You know, I can do what it do. I can woo with what I work with and I could have made it happen regardless and still look good, but I'm gonna save these pieces that I just showed you guys for other moments in the future. In other news, finally got to open this new pack of press-ons for my girl Pretty and Press. She stays hooking a girl up. It's been a minute since she's gotten to send me some because she was in the moving process, but they finally came in and oh my goodness, these freaking eat. Oh, these are art. Oh man. Ooh. Ooh, okay, we got options. Comment below which pair you guys think I'd wear for tomorrow's Christmas photo shoot versus which ones you would wear in general. What's your favorite? All right, y'all, so we're pulling up on the end of this vlog. Bay actually ran to the cleaners to get her uh, dress seamed. I guess she's getting it cinched in at the waist and I think she's getting the slit a tad bit higher so her thigh can show a little bit more. I was personally like, I ain't trying to show any more thigh, but I'm gonna let her do what it do because Christmas time, photo time, that's all her. I'm just here for the ride. Um, but anyways, that's all we have for this vlog. We will see you guys in the next video tomorrow. I hope you guys are ready. This photo shoot is about to be crazy. We got an awkward photo shoot and we got like a traditional photo shoot. So it should be pretty fun. Hopefully you guys can tag along. But anyways, that's all we got for this vlog. If you don't already know, I'm Josh. My wife is easy. She's not here, but we both still love you. And we will see you in the next vlog. But until next time, y'all, peace, love, hair grease, and we out.